First discovered over 150 years ago, gold fever hit Yakandanda hard. And today, we're going to experience just what it was like to go underground in the 19th century. After the first couple of years of digging down from above, they came down and made a conscious decision to dig straight into the mountain. So let's go. Greg Porter has only recently started taking tourists to Cars Reef Gold Mine, but it is virtually untouched from the days when it was abandoned in 1884. These small dugouts enabled the miners to get out of the way of the ore trucks as they came rumbling past on these tracks. And these pit marks are a clear indication of how determined the miners were in the search for riches. But sometimes even they knew when they were beaten. They used to use black powder blasting through here and clearly this one just wouldn't be moved by the black powder. So being so large and hard and solid, they just said, oh, well, we'll leave it here. So bugger it, we'll leave it here. Hence the name. Bugger at Rock. Bugger at Rock. That's it. It took them two years without finding any gold to get to this point. The mother load, a perfect north-south fault line or quartz gold reef. While Yakandanda was once home to thousands of gold diggers, it is now a